In our last episode, we made it to my hometown of Seattle to pick up our new crew member, Wolf. This time around, we beat feet and beeline it to southern Idaho to watch the solar eclipse in totality. We're off somewhere else. We had a crappy night. Where are we going today? Actually, we did have a pretty crappy night. Some people came in, actually they showed up about 10 o'clock and they were loud until two in the morning, right next to us. How'd you feel about that, Wolf? They were right next to me. <laughs> did you like it? Yeah, a lot. Especially them talking about stupid things in here. Where are we going today? We don't know. We're too disoriented to figure this out at the moment. Even with hundreds of thousands of acres of national forest surrounding us, it's amazing to me that a big group of people would want to camp within 20 feet of us. And even though we are exhausted from our neighbor's late night partying, we were on a mission to cover some ground. More traffic. Traffic everywhere. In the middle of nowhere. The big solar eclipse, it was just a couple of days away. But the good news, we're going into Oregon. Crossing the Columbia River. Mm -mm. Can't, can't high five. High five me, Wolf. <laughs> There we go. Someone appreciates us getting to Oregon. With the eclipse just around the corner and us being a long ways from the path of totality, we took turns driving in shifts. Brenda's faster than a speeding train. Nice driving, Brenda. Nice driving. Thanks. We need to get there today. I don't know where we're trying to get to. I don't know either. After about eight hours of driving and with us not really sure where we were trying to get to, we pulled off the highway and look for a place to camp for the night. Damn, we're on a damn road! Black Mountain seemed like as good a place as any to stop for the night. So up to the top we went, with high hopes of a good view of the lake down below, a good meal, and an even better night's sleep. Tacos, and we're not even in Mexico. This is crazy. Tacos are really crazy, especially <laughs> like in the US of A. <laughs> we regrouped with a good night's sleep and did a bit of a rare thing for us. We actually came up with a plan. We're off, and we actually have a plan. We know where we're going today. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going to Boise. Oh, we're going to Boise. Oh, we're going to... And then we're going off somewhere else. But before we got to Boise, we made a quick stop here. We're in Baker City, Oregon. Or Oregon. Where are we at? Is it called Baker City? I have no just... idea. We're in Baker, Baker City, City, Oregon. That's right. That's right. Baker City, Oregon. We're going for a good old fashioned American breakfast historic. for our German friend. Oh yeah, this is historic Baker City. See, look. We're getting breakfast. It was freezing last night. We gotta warm up. Good old fashioned American breakfast. Yeah. Biscuits and gravy. <laughs> Ready, set, go. <laughs> we have to walk like, you know, 20 miles to get rid of this today. You know? That's really good. That's really good. We powered up with breakfast, hopped back in the car, and then covered some more ground. We made it to Boise, Idaho. And I'm in the back seat. That's where you belong. Because <laughs> he didn't behave. Jeff got kicked out. I'm gonna go check out the state capitol. See what's shaking here. One of our favorite things on earth is live music. And while Brenda was busy showing off her parking skills, she did it. I didn't even have to tell her how to do it. We heard this guy off in the distance. Let me do my part. Uh, I'll heal you with my love and restore your tired heart. And I know Boise, Idaho was a great stop for us to get out of the car and stretch our legs. Of course, there was the live music, and then there's this freak alley gallery 
which is the largest outdoor mural gallery in all the Northwest. Boise has some great little restaurants and cafes, and then of course, there's the state capitol building. solar eclipse again happening the following day, Boise was just a quick stop for us. Our goal was to make it into the Sawtooth Mountains and find a good spot for the viewing, but of course we had to see some sights along the way. Made it to Idaho City. This used to be the biggest town in all of Idaho back in the gold rush days. Now it's rinky dink a little spot, but it's cool. Oh, how many fudge. In 1864, this place had over 7,000 residents, making it the largest city in the entire Northwest. By 1870, with the decline of mining, population dropped to under 900. And not too long after that, population was down to just over 100. But left behind, is some pretty interesting history. This is where they put the sick people. Prisoners and the sick people in here. Oldest Masonic Lodge west of the Mississippi, still in use from 1865. Lots of creepy stuff in here. Really creepy. We should uh, sacrifice somebody there because look at all those weapons. It smells like the 1860s. From Idaho City, we were off into the Sawtooth Range to find a perfect place to watch the solar eclipse. But first, it's the never-ending search for water. Safe labor here. <laughs> <laughs> this is taking forever! I don't want to put out a fire resistance. <laughs> and since Wolf was obviously going too slow, Brenda had to take over. With full water jugs, we found the perfect place on the banks of the South Fork of the Payette River. How's the water? It's a little bit chilly. I don't know, I can't actually feel my feet anymore. Is that a bad sign? The next morning, from a spot high up on the bank with a clear view of the sky, it was time. We were sitting in the center of the path of totality, which meant we'd get about two and a half minutes of darkness. It's almost here. I can feel the temperature dropping. Brenda took my coat a couple minutes before total darkness. It's almost gone. Don't put on glasses. Oh yeah, it's almost there. It's pretty exciting. So little bit. Oh yeah, it's like dropping fast, like the temperature. Oh my gosh, it's getting cold. I wish you would have brought a hat so I could take that. Oh my there gosh, it's only a little tiny bit left. Oh, it's getting dark out. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. <gasps> it's dark. <laughs> oh wow. High five. Oh my goodness. And it is freezing. It's 
freezing. I cannot believe it's dark. That's amazing. Really? Yeah, it's dark, but I didn't, I was doubtful for getting. Sun's coming back. Um, it's starting to get a little bit warmer. So it's even when the pick of sunshine. The majority of our time traveling is spent searching out natural wonders. Nice job. Nice job. That was bizarre. We did it. We saw it. This was one of the best we've ever seen. Back to sunshine. Game we saw we conquered. Eclipse 2017 done. After Eclipse Ageddon 2017, we went on the hunt for what could be the best hot spring on the face of the earth. But that's a story for next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>